a lot of the advice we get on social media and just in general, a lot of the advice we get um, is, is actually not the advice that an entrepreneur should take. Okay, here's what I mean. Um, I take a very old-fashioned approach to the way I look at my business and my family. Okay, um, I take a very old-fashioned approach in the sense of I understand what the United States, and this all makes sense here, so stick with me here, okay? Everyone listen up for this. And let me change the view. I want to see your guys' faces when I talk about this. Great question, okay? Uh, turn on your cameras, by the way, for this one. This one's a great question. We're talking about the difference between being present as opposed to living in the past and living in the future, okay? Let's, let's really talk about this. When I look at my businesses and my family and what I'm going to accomplish, I, I understand one thing. I live in the United States of America. The United States of America is very different from the rest of the history of the world and the rest of the world right now because... The United States of America does not have kings or queens. And let me get to this. I I, I know, I hope this, this will make sense. Okay. Does not have kings or queens or monarchs. A lot of people do, especially over there in the UK, those fuckers, they got that king and queen, whatever the fuck that is. I don't know. I don't bend the knee to nobody. Right. RIP to the queen. Yeah. Yeah. RIP. She was a good lady. Yeah. She was badass. Right. But at the same time, I ain't bending the knee to no king or queen. Okay. Because. I believe that I'm the king. I'm the king of my kingdom. I'm the omnipowerful presence of what I'm creating. I am an all-powerful being. I don't believe I should bend the knee to another human being. I bend the knee to God because he is who created me, okay? And in order for me to become great, in order for me to become godlike, in order for me to become a king, I need to look at my kingdom as it is. And when I say I live in America, it's because there's no kings, queens, princes, and all that stuff who own the rest and everybody else works on it. No, no. In America, we, you own what you own. There's no king. The people, we the people, are the ones who will decide our own fate. Okay? So what that means is that means my businesses and my family are my kingdom. The bigger my business grows, the bigger my family grows, that is my kingdom. And this is what I, this one come back to answer your question here. And I want you guys to really, really understand this. Kings and queens do not live in the present. They live in the future. I always live in the future because my future is bright. My future is godlike. My future will change the world. My future is better than now. Now, I'm not saying I'm all fantasy land here. There's times when I'm with my wife. There's times when I'm with my family. There's times, you know, like, again, like, you don't always live there. But you could ask my wife this, right? I live in the future probably 80 to 90% of the time. I prefer to live in the future because I have the power to create. And in order to create... I must visualize the future. I must have already analyzed what could go wrong if I make these moves. As a matter of fact, um, yeah, right here. Everybody see this? Chess. This is the game of kings and queens, okay? Chess, in order to be successful at chess, you have to think three moves ahead. You have to think four to five moves ahead, okay? And a king has to think about every decision he makes and how it will affect the future and what will happen in the future because every decision you make is critical. Every move you make is critical. They're not small decisions. And people don't talk about this because it sends people into an analysis paralysis where they get into the zone of, oh, I'm not going to make a decision because they get so stuck on what do I do, what do I do? So they stop and they sit down and they just cave to the pressure because no decision in their mind is better than the wrong decision, right? But for me, I live in the future and every decision I make is critical to our success, to the growth of my kingdom and what I'm going to build. So when people talk about these hacks of like living in the present as opposed to the future, I don't have a hack because I'm supposed to live in the future as the visionary as the one who's carrying the vision for what I'm going to accomplish, for what I'm going to build, I must live in the, in the future. And by living in the future, I am creating the road ahead for everyone else to walk. 
So living in the future is actually the best thing you could do. You know what's going to happen when you live in the future though? You're going to be full of anxiety. You're going to be full of pressure because you're taking on decisions that haven't even been made yet in your mind. And by taking on these decisions and by analyzing everything that can go wrong, it can swarm your mind with problems and with all this, this analyst of like what can go wrong. And suddenly you have all this anxiety. Now I know this seems contrary to what people talk about, especially when they talk about mental health, right? They talk about mental health. They talk about, you know, like, you know, you get anxiety when you live in the future. So that, so therefore you should live in the present. No, 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 no. I don't look at anxiety as a bad thing. I look at anxiety as the stepping stone of me in a growth mode. I wake up with anxiety every single day. When I don't feel anxiety, I start to get anxiety because if I don't feel anxiety, I feel lazy. I feel like I'm not growing. I feel like I'm not doing something significant and pushing forward. I get anxiety if I'm not doing something that is meaningful because again, I've said this many times, there is no growth in the comfort zone. And there's no comfort in the growth zone. So if you constantly live in the growth zone, that means you're constantly living in a state of discomfort and anxiety. So I do not have a hack to tell you how to live in the present because I don't believe, again, as visionaries, as the people who are building a kingdom, the people who are building a business, and that business, like when I say kingdom, I mean your business pays the bills for everyone you employ. As a king, if my kingdom survives, that means everyone beneath me and in this zone is going to be taken care of. I have shouldered the responsibility as a man of other people's pain. That is the definition of manhood uh, to me is when you're a man, you shoulder responsibility above your own. You're supposed to suffer other people's pains, not just your own. And that is one of the things we talk about here, you know, especially in society is like, that's supposed to be some bad thing that causes all this anxiety and stress. Stress is what makes us. This life is about suffering. It's about enduring not only your own pain, but about enduring others as well. And so as an entrepreneur, I'm not just trying to work to pay my bills. I'm working to pay hundreds of other people's bills as well. Because if I build a business that's big enough to pay hundreds of other people's bills, I'm not in a level of anxiety that is, you know, just gonna pay my $50,000 a year salary or whatever it is. I'm living a level of anxiety that's gonna have to pay it for 100 people who make $50,000 a year. And by definition of doing so, I have taken on 100 people's anxiety and pain and suffering. And that is what being strong is all about. That is what this community is all about. That is what I believe it means to be an alpha, to be someone who will step up and step into that fire. You should live in the future because it's your job to analyze the road road ahead. It's your job to analyze your opponent's next moves and the things that can keep you from getting where you want to be. And if you're not going to do it, who else will? That's the thing. Who else is going to do that for you? No one else. And people like to say, oh, live in this trusting, you know, idea of like live in the present and then trust the road ahead. No, no, no. Live in the future and build your road ahead because you're the creator of your life. You're the master of your fate. You're the captain of your soul. It's your responsibility and yours alone and no one else will do it for you. And because of that, that should empower us to look at who the fuck we are and say, this is what I'm built for. I'm built for this. So when I start taking on anxiety and I start feeling the pain and suffering, you know what? It sucks. That's why I've got a wife who shares that pain with me. And I know it sucks for her because I see the tears in her eyes when we go through the pain. And yet at the end of the day, we remember our mission. We remember what we want to accomplish and the people we will help if we don't quit if we keep persevering and we keep pushing to the next level. So I don't live in the present. I live majority of my time in the future, which means I live with anxiety. And I know anxiety is what's gonna get me there. So the more anxiety you feel, a lot of times that means you're on a good path to growth. 